outside temperature is 79 degrees with an estimated high of 90. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. A training facility. Please stand back from the automated door. If you're here to see someone at the Habitor and payroll office, better just have a seat. They're not open for another half an hour. Bob. Bob. What? Customer. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, uh, it, it's a good read. Uh, you're Dr. Freeman, right? We were told to expect you. You, know, you spent too much time reading those magazines. They're doing a series on the Hazardous Environment Combat Unit. Those guys do some seriously good work. Sure. To see you take them on. He's here. Ah, Dr. Freeman. We've been waiting for you. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure you hit some traffic in the middle of the desert. At any rate, welcome to the Black Mesa Training Facility. Things have been in a state of commotion lately. But we're glad you're here. Just let me double-check your file. Ah, I see you've already signed our legal disclaimer. I, Gordon Freeman, hereby agree to the following terms. Blah, blah, blah. Has any case of serious injury, dismemberment, toxic poisoning, burns, rashes, lesions, blah, blah, etc., etc. Hereby agree to waive all rights as an employee of the Blackface Research Facility. Ah, yes, it looks very good. Now, if I recall, you're here for standard HEV training. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Seems someone has made an error and signed you up for the Enhanced Security Trainings Firearms 101 as well. Well, if this is on file, it means the required personnel are already setting up. No sense letting it go to waste. Follow me and we'll get you prepped. I know I said do what you feel is right first. Did we really need to buy some Finally! Simowitz, he's here! Oh dear. Why aren't these sensors working? I hope they're not needed for today's training run. Ah, the salutations, Gordon. I thought I should drop in to welcome you, as well as ensure everything goes smoothly. They assure me that all the training facility software is in working order. Best of luck! Welcome to the hazard course, Dr. Freeman. I trust you've read the pamphlet, so we'll just skip ahead to the information it omitted. We'll be monitoring your vital signs remotely via the HEV suit you'll be using. But do pay attention to your adrenaline flow, fatigue, any lightheadedness, extreme pressure, arrhythmia, or potential fractures. You know, the usual. Most of the course is self-explanatory. Often literally. But we'll be around to give you any tips you might need. As well as grade you on your performance. So do try to give us a good show, and enjoy yourself in there. The entrance is the elevator shaft on the left of the roof. Come with me. where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant, 
If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended in the next room. All right, let's get on with it. around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement. So, I see you did your PhDs at MIT. Very impressive. Oh, just one. Uh, good job! we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will try to run and jump over this set of pipes. Watch me. Good work. Those suits can be tricky for new users. Move on to the next area. You will need to duck and stay low to clear the next set of pipes. Moving while crouched will also minimize movement noise, making you... Good work, Gordon. You're quiet as a church mouse. We will now combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. Good work. Ready for the next room, I'd say. Sometimes you'll need to get extra height in order to get over an obstacle or into a tight space. Try jumping forward. Didn't hit your head, I hope. Climbing ladders in your suit may be a bit tricky. Take some time to practice it here. I can't believe they still think we need to teach people how to use ladders. The next three jumps are more difficult to make. One more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own module seen here. When wearing the module, you will be able to activate it to give your jumps extra horizontal movement. When you're at the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. This is the prototype of the module, by the way. Let us know if you experience any problems. Enter and start the lift. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to land on it. Bullseye! Major fracture detected. Automatic medical... For future reference, they're working on a landing apparatus for the long jump module. If you ever have reason to wear one again, it should protect you from injuries like that.
You will find medical stations and first aid kits like this throughout the facility. Please use them to treat any injuries you have sustained. Once a medical device is depleted, it will shut down and cannot be reused. To spin that bridge, turn the control wheel. Please note that some valves or wheels may turn back to their original position if they are not fully turned. your suit. Auxiliary power shouldn't be a problem any time in the next decade. Ah, I almost forgot the weapons training snap. Welcome to the Black Mace. <clears throat> uh, one moment. Control? Control? Can someone please explain to me why this guy looks like an orange tank? Nothing to be alarmed about, Range. He's with the science team's HEV project. Up with this file. Continue as planned. As planned. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, one HEV scientist coming in. Hello, trainee. Uh, oh, uh, doctor. You're about to be dispensed a standard issue 9mm pistol and ammunition. So, yeah, you caught me a bit off guard. Uh, I can see that you aren't exactly supposed to be here today, but, uh, you know, whatever. Hey, you're scheduled for it. They're paying for it. So, let's make the most of it. All right, I'll teach you how to use some of my cool toys. There are three rules on my range. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot. And always keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and load it now, though, because we're about to begin. Hold your weapon in a two-handed grip, both thumbs forward, feet shoulder-width apart. Put seven rounds in the center ring of each target. Not bad at all for a first-time shooter. stance with your feet, and that was a pretty slick relay, but your handling of the weapon could be a bit better. Don't jerk the trigger, alright? Give it a slow, steady squeeze. Okay, let's move on to an automatic weapon system. Head into the armory behind you. This is your standard 9mm submachine gun setup with an attached impact grenade launcher. 
Grab ammo and grenades, load up, and they'll open the next room for you. For this course of fire, you'll have to hit every target in order to proceed. If you missed the first time, don't worry, they'll come, come around again. Some targets are behind cover, use grenades to hit those ones. Go to the marker on the floor when you are ready. Initiating in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! where you need to use a submachine gun with a grenade launcher attached to it, right? But you know, whatever. I hope you have fun. Take care. Ah, welcome back. Did you learn something about security duty? We have a medical team. Yes, that's correct. We have medical team on standby for the hazard course ASAP. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon light up. Directional indicators in the center of the display show you where damage is coming from. Very acrobatic. The suit's giving you no trouble. You might want to try deactivating the gas flow with those valves.
The butt buttons on the fire doors act as a toggle once the heat sensor is triggered. Just hit the button to get out. I bet you want a chance to cool down. Exposure to extreme cold will sap your suit's power supply. Make your way through the next chamber quickly. The HEB suit dampens electric shocks as well. That doesn't mean you should go for a dip, though. And don't try to turn off the power, the room isn't designed for that. Your suit's Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also displayed with a luminous icon. Don't, Don't worry, worry, that, that suit, suit is properly shielded in all the right places. And this is a very low dose for demonstration purposes only. The marker chemicals are probably just as radioactive as what we've allowed through. Even so, don't worry if your vision is blurred a bit. Yes, that's perfect. safe from any and all forms of damage. Please use the elevator to your right. an area of the facility you do not have personal clearance to enter. Explain the situation to a guard and they will let you through. Ask the security guard to let you through and lead him to the retinal scanner. He sure, I'll will let you. you into the final section of the course. Now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV Hazardous Environment Suit. This lever controlled train will transport you to a location where your train percentile of time used to complete it. Oh. The hazard course certainly shows us the, uh, diversity among our staff. Yes, well, uh, and these numbers come from the person in question's best friends. A lot of the entries come from practice for the annual decathlon. Lots of hours logged, you see. Yes, yes, no need to feel inadequate on your first run, I'm sure. Nobody else in the HEB training had to waste time shooting targets, either. 
Well, at any rate, let's get the good doctor out of that training suit and onto the tour. I believe there's someone waiting for him. Right this way, Dr. Freeman. We have a car waiting. 